As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the bustling festival grounds, Ivy Bloom felt the weight of urgency pressing against her chest. The vibrant floral displays, once a source of joy, now seemed to mock her with their beauty. She clutched the journal she had discovered, its pages filled with the victim's secrets, and scanned the crowd for Rosemary Thorne, her rival and the last person to see the botanist alive. The festival, alive with laughter and music, was a stark contrast to the dread pooling in Ivy's gut. She knew that every second counted in this investigation, and the journal in her hand was the key to unraveling the mystery. The air was thick with anticipation, and Ivy's determination was palpable as she navigated through the throngs of festival goers, her mind racing with possibilities. Ivy approached the greenhouse, its glass panes reflecting the fading light. Inside, the air was thick with the scent of damp earth and blooming orchids. She found daisy fields, camera in hand, capturing the last moments of the festival. Daisy, have you seen Rosemary? Ivy asked, her voice steady despite the tension coiling in her stomach. Daisy's blue hair caught the light as she turned, her expression thoughtful. Not since the flower arranging contest. She looked frantic, Daisy replied. I think she was heading towards the old oak tree. Ivy nodded, her mind racing. The oak tree was a known meeting spot for the florists, a place where rivalries simmered beneath the surface. The urgency in Ivy's steps mirrored the urgency in her heart as she made her way to the tree, determined to confront Rosemary and uncover the truth. Reaching the tree, Ivy spotted Rosemary, her elegant figure silhouetted against the twilight. Rosemary, Ivy called, her voice cutting through the merriment. The woman turned, her sharp features shadowed but unmistakably tense. I need to talk to you about the botanist. Rosemary's eyes narrowed, and Ivy could sense the desperation in her stance. What do you know? She demanded, her voice low. The confrontation loomed, and Ivy steeled herself ready to unveil the truth hidden among the petals of deceit. The festival's laughter and music faded into the background as the two women faced each other, the weight of their shared history hanging in the air. Ivy knew that this moment was crucial, a turning point in the investigation that could lead to justice for the botanist.